What's up? Welcome to the studio. I'm Nick. I help out around here on the weekends and they let me use all this gear to produce my own music. It's a win-win situation if you ask me. I'm finishing putting everything together for my new song release. I gotta be sure every lyric, every beat, and every note is just right. But honestly, I'm still a little nervous that no one will like it when I share it. Like, what if everybody hates it? Worst song I have ever heard. I would rather listen to a rubber chicken for six hours. <laughs> or what if my grandma is the only one who listens to it? That would be embarrassing. I mean, the biggest question I've been thinking about is, who's gonna listen? <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm excited to share it with everyone, but would they be as excited to hear it? What about you? Have you ever had exciting news that you wanted to share with others, but were unsure if you should? It can be scary to share something that's important to you. Your friends may laugh at you or ignore you, but good news isn't meant to be kept to yourself. Good news is meant to be shared with others. Imagine this. You just received the best grade you've ever gotten on a math test. What's the first thing you do when you get home? You tell your family. Or what if you just found out your family's getting a puppy? You could call your grandparents to let them know, right? Because good news is meant to be shared with the people you care about. Let's open the Bible, God's true message to us about himself, and read a true story about a man named Andrew who had just heard the best news ever. He was so excited that he went and told someone very special to him. Let's see who Andrew went and told. Andrew brought his brother to Jesus. John 1, 29 through 42. A man named John the Baptist was sent from God to tell people the good news that God's son Jesus was coming. One day, John saw Jesus coming toward him, and he said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus was the one John had been telling people about. This is the Son of God, John said. The next day, John was standing with two of his followers. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. Hold up. You may be wondering why John just called Jesus the Lamb of God. John wasn't just giving Jesus a new nickname. John was showing honor and respect to Jesus by calling him the Lamb of God. John knew that God had promised to send someone to come and take the punishment we deserve for our sins, the things we do wrong. This is the good news. Jesus was the one who God provided. Okay, back to the story. The two followers heard John say, look, the Lamb of God. So they left and they followed Jesus. Jesus noticed them following him and he asked them, what are you looking for? They said, teacher, where are you staying? Jesus replied, come and see. So they went and they saw where Jesus was staying and they stayed with him that day till about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who followed Jesus was named Andrew. Andrew went and found his brother, Simon. Andrew told him the good news. We have found Jesus, the Messiah. Andrew then brought Simon to Jesus. When Jesus saw Simon, he said, you are Simon, son of John. You will be called Peter. Just imagine waiting year after year after year for God to keep his promise. Andrew heard the amazing news of the one they had been waiting for, the Messiah. The Messiah is the one God had promised to save his people. When he heard that Jesus was this Messiah, he had to go find his brother and share this news with him. But check it, we can share this same good news with our family. God sent Jesus to save us all from our sin. Sin is when we decide to do what we think is best instead of following what God says is best. Because of our sin, we deserve to be separated from God forever. But God sent Jesus to take the punishment so that we can know God and be saved from our sin. Now, we can know God and share this amazing news with others. Now you may be thinking, that's great that Andrew told others about Jesus, but I don't think that I can do that. Well, sure you can. Remember, good news is worth sharing with others, especially the good news about Jesus. If you're afraid to share what you're learning about Jesus with others, talk to God and ask him to give you the courage to tell your family about Jesus. God is always with us and he helps us tell others about who Jesus is and share what he has done for us. So maybe you have a parent, a brother or sister, maybe a grandparent, a cousin, or even an aunt or uncle who needs to hear about Jesus. You can tell your family what you're learning about Jesus right now. Things like Jesus loves them or Jesus came so they can have a friendship with God. We can share all kinds of cool things that are happening in our lives with people who care about us, like our family. 
Things like getting an A on a math test, finding out you're getting a puppy, or sharing a new song you wrote. But the best news we can share is the good news of Jesus, that Jesus came just for us and he wants to have friendship with us. So don't forget, the good news of Jesus is always worth sharing with your family and others.